From the station that's on your side, this is Channel 7 News, Good Morning Arkansas. Also, we're going to learn more about a procedure to create an artificial disc in the neck. So we're happy to have Dr. Blake Phillips and his patient, David Shore, who brought the whole adorable family <laughs> today. They are this month's Keep On Amazing with Baptist Health, and we'll meet all of them and find out about this procedure that really can change your life and your lifestyle. Yes, we will definitely show you how they keep on amazing over there. <laughs> and the new technology that is just really getting started, they're Five scratching girls. the surface. Five. And four are in boots. One, not old enough <laughs> to be in boots just yet. Yeah. We'll meet that family coming up and share their story. All right, coming up next, we're going to learn more about the procedure you can create an artificial disc in the neck. It's all part of Baptist Health's Keep On Amazing. We're going to meet this amazing family and doctor when we come back. Hey, welcome back, everybody. We're back with our sponsor, Baptist Health, and this month's Keep On Amazing. We're learning more about this really cool new procedure to create an artificial disc in the neck. We're so happy to have Dr. Blake Phillips and his patient, Jacob Shore, here to tell us more about it. Gentlemen, good morning to you. Thank hey, you so much morning, for being here. Morning. Thanks for bringing the whole family, My by pleasure. the way. Yeah, five <laughs> girls over there, yes, five sir. little girls, four in boots. Yes, I mean, sir. just like dad, right? And one a little too young to get boots. But I know this is something that was important to you to not have any pain anymore in your upper neck, to be a part of the family and take part in there. Yeah. First, talk about your experience so far with it and what you what you thought about the procedure and, and what you were going through maybe before you had the procedure. Well, I was having pain in my arms, um, primarily my left arm, but a little bit in my right arm. And, you know, once it starts, it starts going throughout your whole body. And it was just, it was impacting my mood. It was impacting my ability to play with my girls and to do the stuff I needed to do around the home. I was just miserable pretty much all the time. Yeah. Um, so I got some scans done and uh, Dr. Phillips will fill you in on what all that said because he knows it a whole lot better than I do. Yeah, but yeah, let's put it in layman's terms. I mean, obviously this is something, back pain is something I know that has it's grown right. in the United right. States over time and more and more patients coming in, lower back, upper back, and this is a cool new procedure and item that you can put in someone's upper neck right. and basically replace a disc. Well, so, you know, back pain is an epidemic nowadays. Sure. I mean, back pain, neck pain, is, it's a big problem. And then when you combine it with arm pain, it can be almost debilitating and, yeah. and keep people from living their lives the way that they want to live them. Um, you know, Jacob here, he had an issue between the five and the six bone of the neck um, where, and it was just an isolated single disc issue um, between two of the bones of the neck. That disc had gone bad and part of it had bulged out and was pressing on what we call the C6 nerve okay. um, going to his arm. And so that's what was stimulating or causing that arm pain. And he dealt with that for a very long time. And so, you know, Jacob is actually the perfect candidate for this. I, and Jacob, I'm sure, you know, you hear arm pain, left arm pain. You're probably thinking, is it my heart? What, you know, what's going on? I got neck pain. I got arm pain. You know, yeah. what, what's going on here? I'd be lying here? if I said that didn't cross my mind. I'm sure, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it's one of those things that we always talk about with heart issues, but this is a neck issue, unfortunately isolated. Mm -hmm. What's the procedure like, Dr. Phillips? What are we talking about in terms of um, what you guys do? Is it invasive? Is it in and out? Uh, how does this work in terms of getting this procedure? Yeah, so the the basics of it are um, is that it, it, it's it's an isolated neck procedure. It's, okay. a, it's a small incision and it's kind of surgeon preference whether it's the right side of the neck or the left side of the neck that you make the approach on. But you basically make a corridor um, between the muscle here called the sternocleidomastoid muscle and the food pipe and the windpipe here down to the front of the neck and all of that is a natural corridor. And so basically you just you make that plane there between all of that uh, anatomy and come right down to the front of the neck. And once you're there, you take an x-ray, you make sure at the right level, in Jacob's case that was 5-6, and uh, we remove all of that disc or cushion between those two bones. And after you've removed all of that disc, um, I bring a microscope in and look down at the nerve to make sure this nerve was nicely decompressed and there's no pressure left on the C6 nerve. And then we decide whether or not, um, or what kind of graft or, or, or instrumentation to put in. And in Jacob's case, he's young and healthy. There was no significant degree of, of um, what we call spondylosis or extra bone growth okay. in between those two bones. And so he was a really good candidate for this artificial disc. And, and the artificial disc um, is what we implanted. And we have that disc here yeah. uh, on the table. I know you can kind mm -hmm. of point to it and just show yeah. us. It's, it's very simple. Uh, mm -hmm. This is something that, in terms of, you know, size it's not very big no it's not very it's big at all and, and so this is not really new technology it's okay. been around for about 10 15 years but unfortunately you know the way that our system works you know the health has to approve everything and mm -hmm. so um, it's only been approved here in Arkansas for about 12 18 months oh, wow. um, at okay. the most and so we haven't done a tremendous number in the state of Arkansas um, you know our uh, Baptist is, is providing 
um, most of that um, to the state. Okay. Um, and so we've been kind of advancing that care. But the artificial disc, I mean, it helps preserve motion and helps eliminate pain. And, and we know from studies that it helps prevent adjacent level disease, meaning that the other discs are, are likely not going to have the same problem like if you were going to do a fusion between those two bones. And Jacob, how do you feel after? You got five little girls it's, to take care of. Is it a little easier on you? It is. It's, it's like night and day. The yeah. uh, pain in my arms is just gone. I woke up, it was gone. I didn't know if that was the morphine or not. But uh, <laughs> it, stayed, home, it stayed away, it's right? Gone. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it didn't wear off. It stayed yeah. gone. Um, I've got great mobility, um, you know, and I'm, I'm only two weeks post uh, operation and you know, two I, weeks. Yeah, exactly. That's yep. incredible. Two weeks. Yeah, and that's and the and that's the best thing about this. Let me interrupt you. Yeah, but yeah, I, know, I mean, yeah. and, and people get back to work so much faster yeah. um, than with a fusion operation. I mean, I think you're already back to work, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, Jacob's back to work. He's back to helping out with the kids. Wow. I mean, he, he progressed really, really well. It is all part of Keep On Amazing because that's what they do at Baptist Health. They help dads like Jacob and uh, you know employees like Jacob get back to work, get back to playing with the kids, being a part of the family, and doing so pain free. And the doctors over there, like Dr. Phillips, mm -hmm. make that happen. So contact Baptist today at 1-888-BAPTIST. You can also go to the website, baptist-health.com. And thank you guys for coming and sharing this story oh, thanks for and being us. a part of the thanks Keep On Amazing us. campaign, thanks which has us. done so many things to change people's lives and certainly for the better for you, Jacob. Thank, thank you. you.